Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video, and today we're going to be checking out, kind of, sort of, the brand new, at least one of them is more on the side of brand new, but this is the Gladiator Batman and the Future State Superman. On the Batman end of things, this guy is going to be a bit of a Dark Knight's Metal slash kind of sort of Elseworlds at the same time. Yes, primarily based off Metal, but he's extremely Elseworlds to me, and that's why I like him. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and find him in stores, along with Future State Superman. Now, this one is more so of the most recent Future State comics. He goes to War World. He fights Mongol, Elseworld Superman to me, right? Totally looks cool. And here is the barcode for him as well. Now, for those of you that want to stay tuned through the end of the video, I will tell you how you can save 10% on all in-stock items and get free shippings to boot on anything you want to purchase via my links on Entertainment Earth which is where I got these, because I could never find them in the store, right? So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Gladiator Batman, and Future State Superman. Or you could just say, it's Elseworlds, right? Wink, wink. And while I got all you Russell Crows here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. I love the sculpts on these, by the way. Well, let's just get right into it. So, here's everything out of the box. Two figures, three accessories, and a lot of detail to boot. I'm actually quite surprised by these. Now, with Superman's axe weapon, a lot of paint on this, which is a refreshing sight to see. A lot of times you get a little bit of rinky-dink here and there with McFarlane toys. Now, you got some really spiny elements to the actual axe. You got red paint around the ropes. It's cool. Along with the shield, the shield is very nice. It has little metal rivets all painted in. The backside gets a little bit dull, but it's the backside of a shield, so I'm not going to be complaining too much. I love it. Both of the accessories are very well done, as is Vegas Chippendale's Future State Superman, which the head portrait is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. I really do like it, but I don't know necessarily if it fits Superman. But being that it's an Elseworlds kind of slash it is in the comics, Superman... It's just okay. It kind of sort of works for me. But in totality, the figure is pretty cool. I, I like this, especially with the He-Man motif and all that kind of stuff. I will be attaching some chains to this. I think that'll look really good in some elements. The one around his neck and then the one around his ankles. The reds, the chains here all around his chest and such, of course, are gummy rubber, which it's okay. I'll see how it looks with the real chains. But I really wish that you could have included chains on the wrist gauntlets right here, which, again, look pretty good. Superman belt, got the trunks, the legs down to his boots. And I like it. It's just, it's very different. It's, again, not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it's excessively 90s Kenner to me. Legends of Batman, Legends of the Dark Knight. But you get the idea of where I'm going. And the cape is wonderful. That is a really cool cape. It's got a nice wash to it. It's all torn it's got some personality, and I totally dig that, as is this Superman figure. Now, as far as the articulation on this guy, it's going to be nothing crazy new. You get a little bit more movement up in the upper diaphragm and the waist, double joints all the way around. He's just really cool looking. That's really all I got to say. He poses nicely. He photographs well, and it's just a very different take on Superman, which I can appreciate. This could have gone real south, right? Like real south, real quick. But it actually worked out for the best. I wish, though, you could get his head up just a little bit better for some more flying poses, we'll just say. Now, in terms of Batman, Batman gets one accessory. This is not the first Batman we've seen with a giant axe. Probably won't be the last one either. That seems to be Batman's other weapon of choice. This could have used a lot more paint. It's a quite a, a difference between seeing Superman's weapon and then Batman's. It's just okay. But Batman himself makes up for it better with the sculpt. He's got a lot more going on than the Superman, but it's a very different take, which I totally appreciate. This one, if anything, is Kenner, Legends of the Dark Knight, 
Legends of Batman, all that jazz. All the spikes, all the gauntlets every which way. They're very gummy rubber, which is nice. They're not going to break off. You hit it wrong. Straping off his belt. Those are all gummy. The differentiation between the armor with the silver and then more of a really cool darkened washed silver paint breaks up the armor and just gives it a whole heck of a lot more life. The bats on his shoulder, the shoulder pad armor pieces are fantastic. And going down again to all the silver mixed with the lighter gray of the quote unquote Batman costume, the gauntlets, everything is very cool. This is a very well done Very different Batman, and one that, again, much like the future state Superman, could have gone real south real quick, but it works. And you get a lot more head articulation than the Superman. I like the face. He's got a lot of 5 o'clock shadow. He's got rivets, all the metal. Everything looks dented and worn. It's very cool. And the cape, though, on, let's say, the Superman, I like the wash. This one doesn't have a wash. It's kind of lifeless. It's got a great sculpt to it. But it could have used that wash. Something, right? A little bit more to it. Again, all the wrapping. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. He's very cool. I think the one exception would have been a couple extra hands. For some reason, they gave this guy trigger finger hands in 2023. Come on, McFarlane Toys. If you're going to do that, at least give him a weapon of some sort. That matches it. Ah, mind-blowing, right? But again, like I said, you pose him out. You give Superman his shield and his weapon. You give Batman the axe. It's very cool. They're very dynamic. They photograph well. They look great. The sculpts are tremendous. That's really a standout for these figures. You can say all day, oh yeah, they make tons of Batmans, tons of Supermans, but at least there's something very interesting to these action figures. And if you want to give Superman a flight stand, you can have him flying all over the place with this cockamamie costume, right? Very different. Again, it's a standout on your shelf. It just really pops to me. And I can really appreciate these. Now, like I said, and I'm actually glad I was able to do it, from when I did Necron, when I put all those different chains all over him, I had some leftover chain, which was more of silver. And I think that looks better than using black chain. If I had like a brown chain, I think that would have looked maybe a little bit better. But that gives a little bit more personality, a little more life to this Superman. And really, if you ask me, in looking at this Future State Superman by McFarlane, as opposed to the Mattel Masterverse He-Man, well, I would say in all honesty, uh, one of them is going to have to change. Yes, this to me is very much a He-Man Superman, if that makes any sense. And that's as bonkers as it's going to get, right? Now, if you have lasted this long, let me do my little spiel about Entertainment Earth. Now, This is where I picked up these figures for the life of me. I could not find these on store shelves. And lo and behold, the day after these arrived, I saw Gladiator Batman on the shelf. Now, unfortunately, as of this video, Gladiator Batman is now sold out on Entertainment Earth. I know, total bummer, right? But Future State Superman is totally available. And in all honesty, I would definitely check out a lot of the other DC Multiverse offerings that they have as they have lots of outlet deals, very cheap prices for McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse. Not all of them are on sale, but at least you can find something cool. And if McFarlane ain't your thing, well, they have lots of DC Multiverse under the Mafex brand, or you can go back to McFarlane for superpowers, which are awesome. I highly recommend those, or even more so, Batman 66 by McFarlane. They're starting to offer those on Entertainment Earth. Or you can get the NECA Toys quarter scale Adam West Batman. And again, just to reiterate, if you find anything you like, with my link down in the description below, it'll offer you 10% off on all in-stock items. So it has to be in stock. That's just how it goes. But there's a lot of stuff in stock. So just keep that in mind. Plus, if you spend over 59 bucks, you'll get an automatic free shipping But just in case, you can use the code FREESHIP59, and that'll take care of you. And that'll save you a bunch of money, which is awesome. So as always, thank you very much for listening to my little spiel here. Definitely check out Entertainment Earth. I use it myself. Highly recommend them. You'll find something there that you'll like. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new-ish McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gladiator Batman and Future State Superman. Of all the odd and Batmans, of which there have been a ton, and Odd and Supermans, these are definitely standouts for me. I really like these, of course, growing up in the 90s with Kenner. These are by far the most Kenner-fied figures 
out of everything so far for the McFarland DC Multiverse. So definitely recommend both of them. They're just a lot of fun. But as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep bringing on these weirdo ones. But make sure that the designs rock. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm-hmm.